Good day, fight fans. I'm here with the victorious Mark Munoz. How are you doing, Mark? I'm doing great, man. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks for asking. So, yeah, man, that was an awesome come-from-behind performance in UFC 112 last weekend in Abu Dhabi. Can you uh, describe us what you're feeling right now? Oh, man, I'm feeling... Feeling great. Uh, you know, just all the hard work that that I put in definitely is all worth it. And you know, just, there's just no quit in me. And uh, the world's have to see that firsthand. You know, with my fight against Kim Bro, so I'm pretty happy about the performance. Yeah, man, absolutely, bro. And um, it earned you um, Fighter of the Night awards, which is a first for any uh, Filipino American fighter in uh, the UFC. And um, yeah. Also, um, can you tell us uh, what was going through your head during that tough first round? I mean, you were, you're the aggressor. You were shooting. You're you're trying for takedowns and all that. But he was just, you know what I mean, foiling you, uh, you know, back and forth. But um, yeah, what went through your head, man? You know what? I, I to be honest with you, I don't remember most of the fight. <laughs> um, but looking back, looking back, and, and watching the play. You know, watching the replay, I'm a guy that, that always looks for the finish. I don't ever sit back mm -hmm. and, and just try to score points. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm always aggressive and I'm always, always going to be aggressive. And when I step into the cage, I'm always going to look to finish. So, and my strength is on the ground and that's where I was mistaken. I was determined to take it there. And Kendall knew that. So every time I shot in, he was throwing up a cut or a knee, and that's that's pretty much what happened. And but then when I got it to the ground, you saw what happened. Uh huh. Definitely. So what changed with your uh, mindset um, in the second round that gave you more success? Did you did you uh, see anything uh, in this uh, game plan in the first round that uh, you adjusted to in the second round? Yeah, in the first round, I noticed that he he utilized his jab and used his distance very well. And when he jabbed, he was circling. So it was hard for me to change levels and shoot in on him. So I, I was basically closed the gap on him, cut off the cage, and got him in close quarters. And that's where, that's where we got into the ground fight. Mm -hmm. And then he tried to put in some submissions on me and then that's where I cornered him on the cage and that's why I did my ground and pound. Awesome man. And yeah man Oh sorry about that. Go ahead. Yeah man, um you you um you showed uh, a lot of improvements with your um ground defense and your ground game. Tell us uh, how big uh, uh, uh that is because of the training you've been getting from the Nogueras. Uh it's huge. And you saw, you saw the, my improvement with defending submissions. Uh -huh. Because he had three chokes. He had three chokes and and a chance to triangle me and armbar me. Definitely. And uh, I, I was just patient. Yeah. And the Gero brothers, they get, they get, they get that stuff on me all the time. And um, I, I felt I felt very comfortable with defending all those jokes and, and all the all the other submissions. Yeah, man, that that uh, performance of yours was definitely reminiscent of um, some of Big Nog's classic "Come From Behind" victories, man. That was so awesome. Yeah, yeah he's definitely rubbing off on me, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. And um, um, on a different note, describe the atmosphere in the. In the arena that that day, uh, there were a lot of Filipinos that came out to to watch you, man, and you gave them a, a hell of a performance. Yeah, yeah man, I, it was awesome. You know, when I weighed in at the Marina Mall in Abu Dhabi, I was I was um, just in awe of all the Filipinos. It was just, it was a cr it was crazy. I felt like I was in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and they were, you know, I heard Tagalog everywhere, and just screaming and yelling for, you know, for, for me, and just the support was just amazing. Yeah, man, so that's just, um, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, it's okay, go ahead. 
Oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's just signs of things to come for you, man. I mean, looks like uh, you're poised for uh, bringing uh, the UFC to the Philippines, man. Yeah, I think so. I think it's gonna happen. So, um, what's next for you right now? I mean, have you talked to Dana? What's his uh, plans for your for your bright future? Uh, you know what? They don't know yet, and uh, I think they're planning it as we speak. So, you know, so yeah, you know, I don't know yet. You know, we'll see. I know there. I know there's a fight um, August first in Oakland. Mhm. Mm and that's why I'm trying to get on because that's right next to my hometown, Vallejo, California. Absolutely. And there's a lot of Filipinos out there. <laughs> Absolutely, man. And um, is there anybody in uh, particular that you would want to face? No, no, no. Right now, I'm just you know, for me, what's most important to me is is improving every time I step into the octagon. That's that's my number one thing. So whoever they put me up against, man, I'm down to fight. Right on, man. So um, in parting, do you have any uh, messages to your fans out there? Your, Filipino fans and, and all your fans in the UFC in general. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, maraming, maraming salamat po sa iyong supporta. And I appreciate all my Filipino fans and all my American fans. You guys are great. And um, I'm going to continue to get better. And, and just this is the beginning of a, of a wonderful journey. Right on, Mark. Thank you so much, brother. And congratulations again, man. Keep doing your thing. Thank you, thank you. All right, thanks, bro.